This can be used to great effect in Photoshop. One trouble sometimes with a pattern is the file size you get with a PAT file, it's a pattern file in Photoshop, is PAT, is that uh, the actual tile might be limited. So it might be 100 by 100, depending how old the file might be. So you might have a thousand by thousand, but if you actually want to create a pattern that's say 3000 by 3000, sometimes the actual resulting image might be pretty bad. So the way around that is going to be having the original source files. Now, handily, if they're actually in vector format, which the ones from graphicextras.com pattern files also come with the source files, the EPS files, you can actually go to file, open, and I'm just going to go down to the folder that I've got a few of the EPS files and just select one of the files, open, comes up with ask you a size. So I'm just going to show you pixels. So you can actually have that obviously a thousand pixels. So I can make a 2000 file size, resolution 300, oh, that makes it a bit too big, 4000 by 4000, say. Click OK, and that will open the file eventually. And once it's done that, you can obviously just flatten the image. But you, if you don't want to, you can actually resize it quickly. I'm just going to quickly resize it, so it may be a bit more realistic at 2000, say 2000. And also flatten the image. Then selection, so I can select the range for the defined pattern. Then go to the edit define pattern and then you can click ok so now you've got a pattern say 2000 by 2000 or a lot larger than you would maybe if you were just getting the standard pat files